Hello, base lovers! Today I would like to talk about an interesting topic. Here are four things that I wish I knew earlier as a bass player. I've made the rhyme. But before diving into it, if you want to hear about my music or have more information about me, check out the link below in the description to have more information about. Alright, let's start with the first thing I wish I knew earlier as a bass player. The first thing is very important because it's not just about the music, the notes, the rhythm, the feel, it's also about an important part of being human beings playing music and it's understanding the context. Understanding the context and the scenario is crucial if we want to have a healthy experience with our music. Because sometimes we focus a lot on the technical and musical aspect of um, a project, and it's great. This is very important. We have to understand the assignment as bass players, because, for example, if I would like to join a Motown band, I have to know what a Motown bass should sound like. Or, for example, if I would like to join a Tower of Power type of band, um, maybe I should know who it was... Francis Rocco Prestia and which type of sound do I have to get to be functional to that project? Or if I want to make solo music, I had to understand uh, how should I make uh, an interesting piece of music to fit uh, to that kind of solo music project. So it's not just about the notes or the technical aspect, but to the overall scenario that surrounds a context. It's a difficult but simple concept at the same time. So make yourself a culture about what you're going to play. What equipment do I need? How's the overall feel of that particular genre of music that I would like to play? And most importantly, do my style and my technique will actually contribute to elevate a certain project or a certain sound of a certain band or maybe I'm not the right person to join a particular band or project or maybe I am with my style with my personality with my knowledge about a specific genre that I probably will be the perfect fit for playing in and this concept also applies to different type of uh, playing scenarios for example if I'm going to play at a venue or at a club maybe I should have a different mindset that if I'm going to play at a big festival or at a small festival or at a theater or in an arena see understanding the context is a great way to be overall better players all right the second thing that I wish I knew earlier as a bass player is that the perfect instrument doesn't exist Oh, I cannot even imagine how much frustration I had in my early days because uh, I blamed my instruments for not being able to reach my desired sound or maybe my desired uh, level of technique in certain aspects of, of playing. And the, the earlier we understand that the perfect instrument never exists, uh, the better. Of course, there are some uh, tricks, really useful tricks to, to sort of avoid this problem. For example, having a versatile instrument will allow us to play many different genres of music, uh, like a jazz bass. This bass from Girardi Guitars is great because I've got uh, two uh, pickups. Uh, they are both uh, <laughs> a single coil uh, or and backers. Um, I ha can have uh, a more toward uh, a uh, fretboard sound or more to the bridge sound, both pickups. Uh, you know, this is a very versatile bass. There are many versatile bass. A general rule of thumb is that the perfect instruments don't exist, but you can have uh, certain instruments that are way, way more versatile than others. And this is very important because if you cannot afford many instruments, you really have to focus on, okay, I would like to do this... Uh, mainly these three or four things. What's the instrument that can give me this kind of flexibility in these points? But this concept has a great but. 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 Certain projects and certain needs require specific equipment. I just say the contradiction, right? Well, maybe you are right, but both points are valid. Because there's no such things as the bass guitar that can play every type of music. Just to, from an action and setup standing point, if I want to dig hard with a pick, I maybe should have a high action and a 
pretty heavy gauge of strings or if I want to have a um, bass like you know for double thumb tapping this type of technical modern stuff uh, it's very hard to do with a setup for a punk rock uh, really hard setup so as you can see we are going into this concept it's great to have the most versatile bass that you can afford because uh, otherwise uh, it will be a limitation but at the same time the more specific okay you want to get the more focused instruments you have to collect for example if you want to have a great uh, vintage uh, p bass tone well guess what you have to have an original p bass if you want to nail and have that exact tone you can have a similar sound with a versatile bass and it can work but of course if you want to elevate your game and to play with a really specific type of sound you have to have the real deal and this is a hard truth for musicians but you know knowing this concept can actually be beneficial because uh, okay I don't have that specific tool what can I do to achieve a similar sound okay and uh, it's like having a different mindset if you don't have that specific tool it's not an excuse to not at least try your best to have the more uh, similar sound to achieve what you have in your mind so we can make this concept simpler saying from a versatile perspective it's impossible to have the perfect instrument that can play all the things in the universe and the more specific you get the more specific your instrument will probably uh, have to be but this is not an excuse and uh, you can do great things with what you already have it's just about being open-minded and uh, trying our best with what we already have and uh, take the most out of it okay the third thing that I wish I knew earlier as a bass player is that uh, sometimes soft skills are more valuable than musical skills I know what you're thinking you're thinking how dare you say this uh, music is the most important thing in, in music and you are absolutely right but let me explain and sometimes if you want to have a gig or to join a project or to catch the interest of a musician that you admire and uh, maybe would like to collaborate with um, being prepared musically speaking is great and it's a must but sometimes it's not just about being the best of the best in the room sometimes um, being the best in what you do and being also a relatable person that can answer to emails that can have an online professional portfolio that can uh, really know how to speak to other people and that can handle pressure and uh, maybe can uh, write a great presentation for himself or the project that uh, he's joining see these skills are as valuable as musical skills because sometimes it's not just about being the best that is around even because i don't think there really is a best of all the best but uh, I really believe that there could be the right bass player for the right project and sometimes the right bass player is not just from a musical standpoint but also from a human and professional standpoint see as musicians nowadays we can't really be just musicians but we also have to develop some skills that are really useful in everyday life sometimes it's not just about what you are going to play but it's like uh, how really valuable you are as a resource uh, inside a project and i really know many people that have great project and that uh, have really been involved into these amazing projects not just because they're talent on the instrument or their ability to play that they have an amazing <laughs> talent but their attitude their um, knowledge of many different things that can be helpful for that 
specific projects, for example, graphics or, for example, uh, marketing, you know, all these kind of things sometimes are uh, very useful to be appreciated as a musician and as a member of whatever project you would like to join. So don't just focus on music sometimes, but uh, let's try to also learn new things that are music related, like, uh, for example, uh, copywriting, uh, music marketing, or maybe just to, uh, using a video editing software or audio editing software, mixing, mastering, you know, try to add different resources to your arsenal because uh, it will make you a better player, a better musician, even if it's not uh, strictly about music, but it's really helpful for music. Now we're going to the fourth and last thing for this video. Um, I really wish I knew this earlier as a bass player, and which is totally my fault. I know that many of you uh, for sure don't have this problem, but uh, at the, the beginning of my career, I sort of, uh, you know, don't really study certain <laughs> songs, for example, uh, before rehearsing with the band. And it was all my fault because I, my mind was like, uh, well, I don't have the time to study and understand the, this particular song that we are going to add to our track list for our next gig. And I was kind of, you know, like, mm, okay, they are playing, okay, we are in the sea, I would learn the song when the others are playing during rehearsal and doing real time live now well it doesn't work that way because uh, people aren't stupid and musicians aren't stupid so uh just be prepared if you have a rehearsal just be prepared because uh, uh, it's uh, the best way to respect other people that we are going to play with and it's also a great uh, chance of opportunity to learn new things and to approach music in a more organic way because if I really know what I have to play I could focus more on uh, interplay for example with other musicians or maybe I can focus more on timber and sound and feel and groove and portamento of what I'm going to play because if I've got to think about what's the key of this song and uh, can you tell me the chord of this song oh okay now it's the chorus or oh, wh when the verse will start again you know it's uh, it's very difficult to approach uh, music in this way if we are going to be prepared to our rehearsal and all the things are just starting to be funny and it's overall more stimulating to meet the other musicians and play together because uh, we can really deep dive into interplaying and playing together and not focus on the structure or the notes that made the composition or the song we are just have to focus on the performance which is the great part of playing with others and this concept also apply in home studios environment in recording because uh, if you are going to record a performance but you don't really know what you are going to play Trust me, your DAW will know, <laughs> because your performance will not be 100% of your full potential. And when you are going to re-listen to what you've recorded maybe six months um, after the release of that song, your brain probably suggests you that mm, if only you have studied that part better, or maybe if you only took more seriously that take that you recorded in a rush because you think like, well, I'll post later with editing and I fix it in mixing. You know, this kind of approach to first learn, first study, and then apply is great. Even in improvisation, if you have a jazz ensemble, if you are starting to play with a group, you have to know at least the chord, the charts, the structure and the main themes of that particular tune that you are going to improvise with. And this is something that uh, you just have to be ready for the gig and you just have to study before rehearsing or recording, whatever you like to call it, uh, just study before. Don't be unprepared. You are the goddamn bass player. You own the keys of the universe. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. It's really hard to me sometimes to communicate my feelings about a certain topic because, uh, as you can hear, English is not my first language, but I would like to reach uh, as many of you as possible and uh, English uh, is the 
best way to do it actually so thank you so much for watching the whole video if you want to support my stuff and listen to my music you can check out uh, all the links about me in the description below if you want to subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell you can be updated to all my latest videos and uh, shorts and uh, that's it for this video yeah have a wonderful time see you in the next video You are not studying enough.